Hey guys, it's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Today we've got our Nexus 7. Uh, this is the 2013 version, the one that has the camera in the back. And today we're going to be putting on the brand new version of Android, Android 5.0. Uh, it's otherwise known as Android L. This is the developer preview version. So it's not the final um, build for this new Android. But uh, it's, it's really cool to check out, and I'm going to show you guys how to put it on your Nexus 7. It's also available for the Nexus 5. Now, before we get started, I have to give big thanks to Zito Max. He is the one that originally showed how to do this on his YouTube channel. So I'll put a link to his video as well as his page where he has written out instructions. Okay, now I'm going to be doing this on my laptop. Um, I've got a uh, second monitor hooked up to it, but the reason why I'm doing it on my laptop and not my desktop is because for some reason my Nexus does not play well with my desktop. Uh, it's probably an issue with drivers. So as I've said in the past, guys, if, if you have problems or you're having issues, check the drivers, and if that's not working, get a different computer, and that usually will fix the problem, and that's definitely what's fixing it in my case. All right, well, let's get started. So there's two files that we're going to need. Let me zoom in here so you guys can see. The first file is this fast boot zip file and link down below to where you can find this on Zito Max's page. The next one is the actual Android L preview firmware. Now also there will be a link down below to where you can find this. As I said, there's two versions. This is for the Nexus 7. If you're wanting to do this on your Nexus 5, then you're going to get that version. Now you want to unzip both of these files to get a fast boot folder as well as the Razer blah 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 folder. <laughs> uh, now one thing about this, when I unzip this, I got this folder, but it came with, uh, it still has the .tar file, so you need to unzip that as well to get this one here. And then when you get into it, you're going to see several files in here, not this many because I've added some files, and I'll talk about that in a second. Let's throw this over to this side, and in the fast boot folder, you see all of these files. Let's go ahead and throw that one over to this side and then zoom out so you guys can see. So the fast boot, you've got all of these files here. What you're going to do is drag and drop all of these files into the firmware folder. Now I've already done that. That's why I have a bunch of extra files in here. It's all of these files that I've just dragged into the firmware folder. Now, I also have the commands that we're going to be entering into the terminal. I've got those saved in a uh, text document to make it easier for me. All of these commands will be on, written out on Zetomax's page. So you can just copy and paste them right into the terminal and it uh, works really easily that way. Okay, first thing we need to do is go in here and enable USB debugging. You just want to go into your settings all the way down, whoops, all the way down to developer options. Now, if you don't have developer options, you just want to go into your about tablet and tap on the build number. And you just want to tap, 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 and uh, you'll get a little message saying that you're now a developer and your developer options will be there for you. But we just want to go in here and want to make sure USB debugging is checked. Now we want to get into bootloader mode. If you're on a custom ROM, usually you have an option in the reboot. But there's a bootloader, you just want to click on it and then click reboot. Now if you don't have that option, what you want to do is power off your device. Then you want to hold volume up, volume down at the same time. 
and press the power button and you will jump into bootloader mode which is this right here next we want to plug up and set it aside okay guys now I'm pretty sure this will wipe everything off your device uh, not entirely sure but I think it will so it'd be a good idea to make a backup uh, make a backup of all your apps make a backup of pictures, music, videos, things like that that you have on your device and save all of that to your computer. Okay, so it's a pretty straightforward process. You see we're going to flash the bootloader for the new Android. Then we're going to reboot the bootloader. And then finally we're going to flash the new firmware. And that's pretty much it, guys. It's, it's very simple. First thing we need to do is open up a terminal. We need to open up a terminal from inside this directory. So an easy way to do that is hold down shift and right click. Then open command window here. Now it's opened up a command window and we're already within that directory. Copy our first script, or our first command, and we want to paste that in there. Alright, you see that it wrote the bootloader, and it said finished. Next, we need to reboot bootloader. Our device just powered off and powered back on into the bootloader. Now we need to flash the firmware. Now this will take a minute or two here, a couple minutes actually, and when it's all done your device should reboot. So we'll be right back when this is all done. Alright, we've just rebooted. And there's our new Android L boot animation. So we'll be right back when this fires up. We're done with all this. We can unplug the device from the computer and exit out of all these things. Alright, here you go. Android L, the brand new version um, running on the Nexus 7. Here's our new lock screen. Larger clock. Uh, you swipe up to unlock. There'd be a little phone icon over here if it were on the Nexus 5 and you would slide to the slide over to hit the dialer pad. Very, very cool. Excited to play around with this. Um, keep in mind, guys, this is developer preview, so this is not a daily driver. There are a lot of applications that are not going to work quite right with this yet. The full release will come out um, later on in the year. You just want to put this on to play around with and uh, see what it's like. You don't want to use this as a daily driver as i said so thank you very much guys for watching this is sam with mobile tag videos i hope this helps uh if you like the video please hit the thumbs up down below and don't forget to go over check out zito max and his channels he's got several the guy is all over the place uh once again big thanks to him for hooking us up with this method but that's it guys thanks a lot and we'll see you next time